Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a first impression on the Louis Vuitton Extra Small Key Ball in the Reverse Monogram Eclipse. I also wanted to share some items that you can fit in this bag because even though it is small, it is very, very mighty. I also had people ask about specific items and if those items will end up fitting in here with other goodies nicely, so I wanted to address that as well. So um, yeah, this video is gonna be fully loaded, but I will be putting timestamps on the description box below if you want to skip ahead to any of the topics that I discuss, but I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up, and without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I'm going to begin with the first impression. So I unboxed this bag April 26th. It is now May 5th, and I have yet to switch out of it. Now, I know that might not be a big deal for some people, but for someone like myself that likes to switch out of their bags every single day, that's nuts. For me to use the same bag for three, four days without switching out of it is pretty crazy. For me to use the same bag for more than a week without switching out of it is almost unheard of. I can count on one hand how many times I've done that over the years. So that makes me very happy. Oh yeah, <laughs> because I have been thoroughly enjoying this bag and that's another reason why I wanted to do this video because um, I really want to give it a rest and jump into another bag. But uh, I think that it is absolutely beautiful. I have such a weakness for the monogram eclipse, especially the reverse monogram eclipse. There is something about it. I think it is absolutely fabulous. And I sincerely hope that at some point in time, Louis Vuitton decides to have the monogram eclipse be part of the women's line. Can you imagine this print in a Neverfull, in a Speedy, in a Palm Springs mini backpack? I mean, I feel like there are so many bags in the women's section that would look unbelievably gorgeous with this print, right? But anywho, I, I digress. I'm getting off subject. Uh, so like I said, I have a major, major soft spot for it. Um, I also love the fact that it does come with the color treated leather because it makes it so incredibly carefree. You don't have to worry about water stains. You don't have to worry about patina. You don't have to worry about anything like that. And I think that that's amazing. Uh, this print or this bag goes very nicely with my wardrobe uh, because as you guys know, I am a very, very casual dresser. So I wear a lot of denim. I wear a lot of tees that are black and white. So this is kind of like a no brainer. Like I said, it's very easy for me to incorporate into my wardrobe. And um, I also like the casual vibe that it has, you know? So <laughs> it is right up my alley. Uh, this zipper here is also very smooth. It doesn't get caught. I think that's awesome. I don't find that the opening is too small either. I do feel that it is somewhat generous. Uh, I'm able to see all of my items at a glance, but if you do end up using the darker SLGs in here, or mostly uh, darker SLGs, it can be a little bit hard to see your items just because you do have that black textile lining. So sometimes I do prefer to go for uh, brighter pops of color, brighter SLG, so that way I'm able to get to my card holder faster or to get to this item faster. Uh, other times I do play matchy matchy and I have just like black SLGs in here. And when that happens, it's, um, <laughs> it's not fun because I feel like there's, they kind of blend in with the, with the background or with the textile lining. So um, it can seem somewhat like a black hole. So I just wanted to, uh, to point that out. Another thing that I really appreciate about this bag is that it doesn't come with any slip pockets. It doesn't have, I know it's gonna be really hard to, to see again because of the black textile lining, but it doesn't have a slip pocket, it doesn't have a zippered pocket, it doesn't have any pockets on the interior or the exterior. But as far as the interior goes, I really do like that. And this is where you guys might think that I'm totally nuts because when a handbag does have a slip pocket or a zippered pocket on the interior, I always appreciate it. I'm always like, oh yeah, that's awesome. At the same time, I very rarely end up using it. And usually that's because if I end up putting all of my items in here, sometimes I feel like with that slip pocket, it can open up, not open up, but if I'm in a hurry at the checkout for, you know, as an example, and I'm throwing in all of my goodies and then my card holder sometimes gets caught on that slip pocket and that drives me nuts. So like I said, it makes no sense. I appreciate it when a bag has it, but at the same time, I don't really use it. On the contrary, sometimes I feel like it just, it just completely puts me off. So I don't know if, if you guys feel the same way 
please let me know if any of you guys <laughs> if you guys feel the same way that I do because don't leave me alone on this one uh, so again the fact that it doesn't have any interior pockets I think makes it a lot easier to be able to maximize my space and considering that I end up using pretty much pouches for all of my goodies nothing is really loose except for lipsticks uh, that's why I don't think it's a big deal at least for myself uh, so I also wanted to uh, to mention that now this bag does come with a removable adjustable strap and this is the reverse part so this is all gray uh, and I think it is absolutely beautiful on the hardware you do have uh, the little flower there for Louis Vuitton and then you have the um, the hardware here says Louis Vuitton as well. It is that shiny gun metal and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So this strap, uh, it does have a total of five different adjustments. I also find this to be uh, somewhat generous and whenever I do use this, I end up using it on the middle, uh, on the middle adjustment here and it ends up right at my hip bone. I will insert a picture if you guys wanna see what it looks like, and for reference, I am five foot five. So the fact that I still have two other adjustments um, I think is pretty great because it's not, it's, not a very limited, um, it's not a very limited strap, so I think that you have a lot more play with it because of those same adjustments. So I do like that. One thing I wanted to point out is that this guy here that ends up holding the strap in place is really, really loose. Um, it gets to the point where I wouldn't go as far as saying it has a mind of its own, although it somewhat does, because there have been times when I use it that it's at the very bottom and then I have this guy just kind of flailing in the wind, which I cannot stand when, when straps do that. Uh, and other times it's just up here, uh, but it's not very tight. So I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can tighten it, or if not, I have to go to Louis Vuitton to see if they can fix it or I don't know, but it can be a little bit of a pain and look at that, I'm literally spinning it around. You should not be able to do that. <laughs> at least I don't think you should be able to do it. I think that when it comes to these guys, they should end up holding the strap in place uh, because usually when you have these straps just kind of flailing in the wind, over time with extended use, these can start to curl up and I definitely do not like the way that that looks. So I just wanted to point that out as well. Um, but as I said in the unboxing video, uh, I really do prefer to use this bag with a chain. Now this chain, uh, the hardware doesn't match, uh, it doesn't, it's not a perfect match, but this is from Organize My Bag. This is their larger oval chain, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I will I will find it and I will put the right, the right name of it on the description box below if you guys are interested. Uh, but I absolutely love them. You guys have heard me talk about them many of times, but I love this chain and I just think that it gives it a completely different look. Uh, so here it is next to the shiny gunmetal. I don't think you can really tell that it doesn't match. I mean, up close, maybe, but, <laughs> but it's not that big of a deal. And I really like the way that it looks with a chain. I don't know what it is about chains lately. I love being able to incorporate them in my bags. Um, I just think it gives it a completely different, I don't know, it gives it the bag a little bit more personality. Uh, but like I said, sometimes I end up switching out from using the strap that it comes with to using this one. And either one, they are both very comfortable. Uh, with this strap, it doesn't uh, dig into my skin. It doesn't uh, hurt when I use it cross body either. Uh, it's just, it's absolutely amazing. And that's another thing uh, I've had people ask if I end up using this bag mostly as a shoulder bag, do I use it, do I hand carry it? Do I use it as a crossbody bag? I mostly end up using this as a crossbody bag. And when it's not crossbody, I end up carrying it like so. I think it is so, so cute. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do really like the way that it looks uh, crossbody, especially on that third setting. Uh, but uh, like I said, this strap, the only issue is the fact that this guy uh, just has a mind of its own and it's really really loose. I also wanted to address the side panels here because as you can see the Louis Vuitton logo is upside down and this is the gray canvas but I had so many comments on that unboxing video. People were asking was it a design flaw? Was it intended that way? Why would Louis Vuitton do that? It looks like it's a fake bag. It is a fake bag. You name it I heard it and I respect everybody's opinion especially the people that aren't a fan of it but for me personally I absolutely absolutely love the way that it looks. I'm assuming that's the reverse part of the monogram eclipse reverse because you have the regular eclipse on the front side. And since this is one continuous piece of canvas, you have the LVs right side up on the front and then upside down in the back, right? So we all know that. But on the sides here, since this is a different part of canvas, the fact that this is upside down, I think that it just gives it a little bit more character. It just makes it look 
very different from your regular monogram. If I wanted regular monogram, I would go for monogram or I would go for the eclipse, the monogram eclipse. But when you have the reverse part, there has to be something that sets it apart from those other two prints. And I think this does it perfectly. So the fact that they're upside down, heck yeah, I'm a fan. I think it's awesome because it totally ends up catching your eyes. So <laughs> again, I know some people weren't, uh, weren't a fan of it. I know some people are like, what is going on? Why would they do that? What, what this, what that? But I think it's awesome. I think it's totally, <laughs> totally awesome. Um, now, another thing that I also wanted to discuss are these wrinkles here. As you guys saw in the unboxing, uh, I had these pretty deep wrinkles on the front side of the bag, and I had a lot of people ask, uh, why would I keep the bag? It's faulty. You know, the, the wrinkles shouldn't be there, and I agree, the wrinkles shouldn't be there. Uh, and why did, I deceive, why did I decide to keep the bag with the wrinkles? Uh, I decided to keep the bag with the wrinkles because the wrinkles don't bother me. I actually have other Louis Vuitton bags that had wrinkles uh, when I first got them, and I think that this is just a natural characteristic of the leather. It seems like almost every keep all, at least the three that I have behind me, uh, one side of the leather seems to have a little bit more intense wrinkling, and I also looked at these bags on the pre-love market, not just this print, and it seemed like the majority of them do have the wrinkling on one side. So I don't know if that's just the design of the bag because you do have the leather that strip that goes uh, from the front to the back. I don't know if that's uh, necessarily something that always happens. It seems that way. Uh, but I can tell you that since I've been using this bag nonstop, I started to develop wrinkles on the back side. Of course, they're not as intense as the one in the front, but um, I really do feel that these are gonna get intense as well. With more and more use, I'll end up seeing these wrinkles here. So like I said, I feel like it's a natural characteristic of the bag or of the leather. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't affect how I'm going to be using the bag. So that's why <laughs> that's why I decided not to return it because of the wrinkles. My bum bag actually has wrinkles on one of the parts as well. And uh, those wrinkles uh, started to get more and more intense. But since that has the golden patina, you can't really tell. And I think that because this is black, you're able to see it a lot more. So I don't know. But either way, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Another thing that I wanted to point out um, that uh, I wanted to address are these handles here. They are a little bit wonky because as you can see, they are not perfectly centered. If I was to center them, it would be like so. And even this back part, when I first unboxed it, if you go back to that unboxing video, these are a lot more intense. And uh, I actually had the same thing happen with my Nano Speedy. My Nano Speedy, um, the handles were pretty wonky. I don't know if it's because you have such a stiff piece of leather and you have a small piece of handle that that happens, but the handles on that Nano Speedy um, are now flat. So I'm wondering if the same thing will happen with this bag, but yeah, I noticed it after, uh, after the unboxing that these guys were not necessarily straight in the middle, you know? And now they're a little bit flatter, but when I first uh, when I first got it, they were like kind of popping out this way. So like I said, I think with use, these are going to, obviously with use, they have started to kind of go down. But I just wanted to point that out because that shouldn't happen either. <laughs> they, they shouldn't be wonky right off the bat. Oh, okay. I'm saving that. I'm saving that for later. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys. These guys are not perfectly centered in the bag, you know? So even though it has these quality control issues, uh, I still absolutely love this bag. And I, like I said before, I have been in, th I have thoroughly been enjoying it. I think it is a beautiful bag, but there are some things that have definitely stood out the more and more that I have started to use it. So now let's move on to the items that you guys requested to see if they end up fitting in there. Uh, I got a request for a full size water bottle, the sunglass case, the mini pochette, and a full-size wallet as well. I will say that when it comes to this bag, I definitely prefer to go for smaller SLGs because with those, I really feel that you can end up maximizing your space versus using some of the full-size items because the full-size items 
really take away with being able to carry more items with you. Uh, so as far as the bottle of water, this is a full size bottle of water, 16.9 ounces. So in here, I feel like these, you definitely have to put them in at an angle, but I'm able to fit it in there. No problem. I still have room for other items, but once I start to put other items in there, it starts to get a little bit wonky. It starts to get a little bit full. And uh, let me just show you guys. So I will put a round point purse in there, my card holder, my photo album, I have to kind of play Tetris, if you will, my cell phone, which is an iPhone 11, two lipsticks, and so I feel like everything either has to go on the sides of the water bottle, or it would be on top, and then you're kind of having to rummage through the bag in order to get to what you really need to. So let's close this bad boy up. So I'm able to close it up. There are some kind of funky lumps and bumps. It is fully loaded and of course it makes it super, super heavy. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, a water bottle, a full size water bottle will end up fitting in there. Uh, it's just a matter of what it is that you want to, to carry with you. So that's the bottle of water. Ah! <laughs> okay, now let's do a full size uh, wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. And with this guy, it does not fit. Even if I try to put it, um, you know, kind of on its side, it gets caught right there. What if I did this? Yeah, still doesn't end up working out. So this guy, unfortunately, doesn't end up fitting. But if you have uh, something like the uh, Josephine wallet or the smaller kind of mid-sized wallets, those would be able to fit in there, no problem. Okay, the mini pochette. So if I put it in like so, I feel like these chains sometimes get gets caught or the uh, the tab sometimes gets caught as well but you still have room for items in there so that guy fits I've actually used it with the mini pochette and then here is the sunglass case so this is a discontinued sunglass case in the mm size this one I also put on the side and there we go. I'm still able to fit items in there as well. Oh, and I did forget one other item that someone asked, and that was a um, full-size uh, sunglass case. So this guy is quite massive. Again, I'm able to fit it in at an angle, but because it is so bulky, it's also going to take away from how much you want to end up fitting in there. So those are those items. The only thing that really doesn't end up fitting in there is the full size wallet. But again, the mid size or the smaller wallets will end up fitting in there. No problem. It's just a matter of what it is that you want to carry with you. So the water bottle does fit, um, but you definitely have to play Tetris uh, in order to get other items in there. All right, so let me show you guys what I normally end up carrying in this bag. Uh, so like I said, I do, prefer, I do prefer to go for the smaller or the very slender SLGs. That way I can really end up maximizing my space. So I go for the Chanel Beauty CC uh, pouch or the mini O case. There we go. I also have my card holder. And, oh, I forgot to show you guys. I did end up getting the uh, reverse monogram eclipse key pouch instead of the mini pochette. And uh, check that out. Even though this is the reverse monogram or the monogram eclipse, it does have the LV logo right side up on this. So I was wrong. It is not part of the reverse monogram eclipse part. It's just the way that they decided to make the extra small keeple. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> but there it is uh, right side up. And this guy also feels very different from my other SLGs. Okay, so then I have my round coin purse, my photo album, my cell phone. Okay, I also have to carry my keys. So let me put my keys in here. Two lipsticks. There we go. So I'm able to fit everything in here. See what I mean? I feel like you can still see everything at a glance, but if these SLGs were the brighter SLGs, they're way easier to, to see, but check that out. And I'm still able to close it, and I don't have any awkward lumps or bumps. Look at that. Well, maybe right here, you can see that I'm still missing something, because I can end up fitting something in there. Uh, 
but it's still, it's very, very spacious. It's crazy how much you can end up fitting in here. I'm able to fit a hand cream in here as well, like those little eggs from Chanel. I can put that on the side so that way it doesn't have that kind of um, that crease, but very, very spacious, able to see everything at a glance. And the zipper is not that tiny little zipper that I was talking about, kind of like the one that you would, um, you would see on the Nano Speedy. Definitely not because this guy is a lot longer or a little bit longer. I think it's two point, I don't know, almost two and a half inches longer than, than the uh, Nano Speedy. You have a lot more, um, you have a lot more space and you're able to see everything a lot better. So I think that's pretty great, right? That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm able to fit all of my daily essentials and then some, no problem. So love this little guy. It's, it's so crazy spacious. Sometimes these little small bags, I always like to refer to them as Mary Poppins bags because they blow my mind with how much you can end up fitting in there. Even though they might be small, they still end up packing a punch. And I think that's amazing. Do I recommend this bag? Absolutely. I think it is fantastic and as I said before I am having a blast using it even though I love this bag and I do recommend it the one that I have in my hands this particular one it is not the best made Louis Vuitton bag absolutely not and just because I love a bag doesn't mean that I am blind to some of the issues or the quality issues that it has even though those quality issues might not be a problem for me it's still something that I wanted to address just in case you are also looking to add this bag to your collection. I really hope that no other bag has the same issues that mine does. Uh, but again, I just wanted to share my experience. Am I saying that every single extra small keep ball in the reverse monogram eclipse is going to look like mine? Absolutely not. And I really hope that that's not the case. But again, I am just sharing my experience with you. But that does it for this video, for this first impression, what it fits video, whatever you want to call it. Seems like it was all over the place. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.